Tensions have been rising across the Taiwan Strait ahead of the Communist Party centenary. Analysts suggest China could attempt to reunify with Taiwan after tightening control over Hong Kong. Victoria Jen reports. Over the past few years, China has ramped up not only diplomatic, but economic pressure on Taiwan. And now, an almost daily show of strength in the island's air defense identification zone. This year alone, more than 350 Chinese warplanes have entered the zone, a record in recent history. It's also deployed naval forces to conduct combat drills off the island's coast, causing tensions to soar to the highest levels in decades. We will fight the war if we need to fight the war. The Chinese Communist Party has never forsworn the use of force to achieve Taiwan's reunification with the mainland. And a report released by Taiwan's National Security Bureau warns that Beijing is likely to drive up its pressure on the island after it celebrates the 100th anniversary of the Chinese Communist Party. In particular, China's discontent towards the United States was widely seen as a key trigger to rising tensions across the strait. From the acrimonious trade war to issues over human rights, the rivalry between the two superpowers had shown little signs of easing, even under the Biden administration. And some analysts have suggested that Beijing's military incursions were in response to provocations from Washington. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken, for instance, had warned Beijing that it would be a serious mistake to try to change the Taiwan status quo by force. The exercises also signal Beijing's displeasure with Taiwan President Tsai Ing-wen and her pro-independence party. 就蔡英文的总统的这个过去六年的任期里面，特别是最近的这两年多啊，他基本上的的的做法是完全贴向美美国棒，再就把台湾跟美国在安全上做一个紧密的捆绑啊。那么在这种状况之下，如果呃中美